So they do a quick video about what you have to do to maintain these little solar path lights every couple of years to keep them working. And if you remember back about four years ago, I put these lights out there and this year they just haven't been functioning properly. Um, a lot of them don't come on and uh, some of them just come on for an hour or so. So it's time to clean them up a little bit and get them going. Just got some Windex, some contact cleaner, a little brass brush and a uh, box of batteries that I bought for them. Now these are not the same type of batteries that came in them. Uh, they came with uh, NICADs and these are nickel metal hydride and these are a much higher capacity battery that I wanted to try. Um, you know the jury's out about whether you should go with the same battery technology that comes with these lights but I wanted to try this because I want the extra batteries for another project so um, I went with these and you know time will tell how they work out. But the uh, NICADs really are pretty bad for the environment, so that's why I'm trying to avoid them. So it's easy to pop them off uh, and take them apart. You can see they, uh, you know, they come right off and come apart. And this is stuff that I've just ignored last year. They, they were starting to have problems. And the battery is pretty easy to get out on them there. And then I like to use this electric contact cleaner. Um, if there's any kind of corrosion on there or anything, it will remove it and make it so you get a good contact again. And it's much better than using a sandpaper that actually removes the plating and uh, causes more corrosion later. So there you can see it took that little bit of corrosion off of there, shined it right up. And it's time to put a new battery in. Um, now these new batteries are just a hair bigger. They're supposed to be an AA, but they're just a hair bigger than the um, AA size. But they do fit in the, this light. And they um, actually, it works. And the top right there was a little bit of a problem to push back on, but eventually it did, uh, I did get it caught. And there you can see the light works good. And um, Actually, they're really bright now, and they, uh, they stay on all night long. I... You know, I watched them all last night. This morning they were still on when the sun came up. And then these are glass globes. Um, you know, you want to make sure that you don't, you didn't buy the cheap lights with the plastic type globes because they usually get hazy and they're hard to clean up. You just want to probably toss them out and buy new lights if they, you know, get to that point. But at least with the glass globes there, you can clean them up good. Um, a little bit of silver that was in the middle of the bottom there came out, but... You know, it still might affect the light a little bit, but they do clean up like new with uh, in a, just a couple of seconds, you can see. And then they just pop right back together. A couple spiders down there you got to deal with too. And it's, it's one of those jobs that's, you know, real easy to do. And uh, it does cost a little bit for the pack of batteries to do them. But um, I did go overboard and buy the little bit more expensive batteries. So um, it's something that's really required. Now, the light manufacturers basically say you should do it every one to two years, which, you know, I don't agree with. I just say do it when they stop working, right? And there you can see these lights actually have a glass solar panel on the top, too. So that really makes them easy to clean up. Uh, some of the ones with plastic panels can be a problem. So, you know, I'd recommend if you buy lights, you do buy a little bit better quality one that you can always uh, just put new batteries in later. And the only other thing is if the batteries don't work, then uh, the light's bad or the panel's bad. But there you can see the old one with a uh, NICAD 300 milliamp and the new one is a uh, nickel metal hydride. 2800 milliamps so there's a big difference in the capacity of these batteries and you know i'll see how they work over time uh i think they should work good though i'm hoping that i'll be able to get through a cloudy day and uh, still maintain all the whole night of light with these so you can see it's actually a beautiful evening and um, we've just had it's like two weeks of um nothing but hot weather it's Full sunshine, no clouds, um, no rain, nothing. Just uh, really hot weather. So uh, if you look back there, you'll see the garden is basically all planted already. And I'll be doing an update about that in a while. So really, it doesn't it doesn't take a lot to clean to clean them up. And if you do have some of that contact cleaner, it really does do a good job of uh, you know cleaning off the corrosion and. 
Uh, this one here, the bird's kind of like, so that's going up in the house to get washed in the sink there. That one just didn't uh, make out so good. And here you can see again, this is just looking at the garden. You can see all the beds are all planted now. Everything's in and uh, I'll be doing an update shortly about that. And here we are at night. I waited until it got dark out and you can see they're all on. Uh, when you walk down near the... Looking at it through the camera here, it just doesn't look like it's that bright. But actually, um, there is enough light down there at night with them to walk through and, uh, you know, kind of see what's going on and see all the beds and stuff. So they do uh, work nice. And there you can see another beautiful sunset, which means another beautiful day tomorrow. But, um, you know, it's really hard to see with the camera, but you can you can see pretty good with all them on. And then they also have this one motion light up here uh, if the deer get outside the fence or anything that comes on. So I just thought I'd, you know, do a quick video to show you how simple it is if these solar lights do start giving you problems and, uh, you know, only come on for, let's say, an hour or two or don't come on at all. And I've been enjoying the fresh spinach and salads lately. That's been really good. And lit up the grill and I did a batch of Sweet Baby Ray's uh wings on it the hot wings and oh they were so good so you know, anyhow i just uh you know figured a lot of people use these lights and uh you know may just want to know what to do with them when they start to wear out thanks for watching please subscribe